Good day. The aim of our investigation is to determine the power system's response to geomagnetic induced current. My name is Diren Mudli. My name is Simone Reddy and our project supervisor is Professor Van Koller. The day when we shall know exactly what electricity is will chronicle an event probably greater, more important than any other recorded in the history of the human race. The time will come when the comfort, the very existence, perhaps of man will depend upon that wonderful agent. Famous words from an inventor and a futurist, Nikola Tesla, who not only predicted man's immense dependence on this great invention, but who is best known for his contributions to the design of the alternating current supply system known as the grid, which our society so heavily relies on. With increasing research into the extraterrestrial environment, known as space, coupled with society's rising demand for electricity, the effects of space events on the grid have sparked the interest of many researchers and engineers. In this presentation, we will discuss the national grid and its basic operation, an extraterrestrial phenomenon known as space weather, and the impact of space weather on power system equipment and society. The national grid forms the backbone of our society and is responsible for delivering electricity from ESCOM to consumers. The basic operation of the national grid is as follows. Electricity in South Africa is generated from coal and hydroelectric power stations. Once the power is generated, it is stepped up to a higher voltage level to reduce losses and increase the efficiency of the grid. This is achieved using a power system equipment known as the transformer. Once the power has been stepped up, it travels over long distances with the use of transmission line towers, which are those colossal metallic structures you see away from urban areas. When the power reaches its correct destination, it is stepped down using a transformer and sent through distribution lines to consumers. Understanding the basic operation of the grid may be common knowledge to most of us. However, the term space weather may leave many of us baffled. So hopefully I can shed a light on this phenomenon. The sun periodically ejects billions of tons of matter known as coronal mass ejections, CMEs. When directed towards the Earth, these CMEs cause magnetic storms in the upper layer of the Earth's atmosphere. These magnetic storms interfere with Earth's magnetic field. This interference with Earth's magnetic field induces currents of high magnitudes called geomagnetic induced current, or GIC, which is capable of entering the power system through the transformer. To determine the effects of the GIC, we modeled and simulated both the power system and the GIC. We then analyze the system's behavior in the presence and absence of JC. We deduce that the transformer is pushed to operate above its limits. This causes the transformer to overheat and inefficiently step up or step down the power. These inefficiencies are propagated throughout the power system, which affects the quality of the power being supplied to the consumer. It was also deduced that the higher the magnitude of the JC, which is dependent on the severity of the solar storm and the power system configuration, the higher the adverse effects it has on the power system. Thus, in the worst case solar storm event, society can be subjected to power failures and blackouts. To prevent these adverse effects, the South African National Space Agency and ESCOM have partnered to track these solar storms and create contingency plans to keep both the national grid and society unaffected by this phenomenon.